Hey everybody. Yeah, I just wanted to do kind of a, a short video here. Uh, I got a lot of short videos. <laughs> this probably will be longer than a lot of my art videos, except the uh, the ones that uh, where I sit down and explain stuff. But uh, this is just another exercise video. Uh, on average, I get more views on my exercise videos than I do my art videos. This channel is supposed to be about my art, but People seem to like my exercise videos. Uh, they seem to view them a little bit more than my art, so I might drop an exercise video in here uh, onto the channel once in a while. Today I just wanted to talk about how to make your hands a little bit tougher for boxing and martial arts so you can take a little bit more pain. This is nothing extreme at all. Uh, I just want you to start light, especially if you've never done this before, especially if you've never you know, hit things hard with your hands. Uh, and by the way, I don't hit this stuff hard. I go light or moderate. Uh, I started doing this uh, a number of years ago to make my hands a little tougher so I can take a little bit more pain, just to be a little bit more rugged. It's nothing extreme. I'm not trying to have dislocated fingers or joints. I'm not trying to be deformed or have my hands bruised up all the time. That's not what I'm uh, going to show you. That's not what I'm doing. There's some really tough guys and some really tough masters like Okinawan uh, karate practitioners and practitioners of Uechi Ryu and some other arts that go pretty extreme and hit boards hard and break stuff. I'm not going to break anything today. I've never really tried to break a board, actually. But uh, for many years, I've been using this rock. It used to be uh, gray. Now it's turned dark, kind of a, a brownish color. And I just, this is how I made my hands a little bit tougher. I just started out light, kind of punching this rock, just light, sitting when I was doing my... Uh, my job in the graveyard shift sometimes there was nothing better to do at certain times except maybe exercise or do this and uh, I used to sit there and do this sometimes you know look around and just kind of so just to toughen my knuckles I just went light and if you've never done this before you know unless you've been doing this yourself and you got your own routine and your uh, you're pretty advanced uh, and your hands are used to it I just want you to start out light and you don't even have to do it every single day you don't have to do it every day I don't right now I only do this once a week or once every two weeks but when I first started it was probably every other day you just go light you can do your knuckles this can make uh, whatever body part you're focusing on a little bit more tougher little more rugged today I'll just show you the hands you know I do this for my shins also I do this for my knees so um, there's other parts you know that I use it on but I'll just show you the hands today and maybe some forearm and elbow so I just go light and over time I was able to go you know harder so I use this this board too and uh, just go light. If you're just starting out, just go light. You can do it with the, you know, knuckles. You can do it like a palm strike. Make your hands a little tougher if you ever get into a fight. And if you really are worried about breaking your knuckles in a street fight, then use your palm, you know, palm strike. It's safer in terms of damage to your hand. So you can hit this with your knuckles. You can go to the back like this, like if you're blocking. You know, you want to hit the back of your hands to be tough. But just go light. You don't have to go hard. You just go light. Go light. You can do knife hand. You can do ridge hand. Finger jab. Especially this, go light. And just to be tougher, you know, that's all I'm trying to do is just be tougher. Show you my routine here a little bit. I'm going a little hard.
harder than I would want you to go, uh, especially if you're first starting out. When you first start out, just go light. See, that's the whole point of this video, this exercise that I'm showing you here is just, just go light, start light. You don't have to do it really hard unless that's your thing and you've been doing it on your own for so long. And like I said, there's some masters who break boards and they, you could see it in their hands. Their hands been through a lot, have been through a lot, but that's not what I'm doing. I'm just, I want to be a little tougher. My wife says I have delicate kind of handsome hands, so I want to keep it that way. And, so I just go kind of light, then I go moderate because I'm at, you know, I've been doing this for a while. I'm not going to try to break this. I don't even know if I could because it's pretty thick. I've had this for a number of years. You go like this. The hand can take more damage when you go like this more than the knuckles normally. But just go light when you're first starting. I'll just do all the different parts of the arm here, especially the lower arm because that's you usually use it to hit more. I'm actually using my right hand, but it looks like my left hand. It's just the way the, the camera angle. Everything's reversed. You're watching me in reverse. If you've worked with cameras, you'll know what I'm talking about. Still using my cell phone camera. Yeah, so and then the rock. And I do this for my shins, too. I do it for my shins, my knees, for my face. Uh, you know, I just kind of use my own hands. I have this routine where I go, but that's the, you know, this video is about the hands. The palm strike, or kind of like a slap, like if you have to grab something. For some reason you have to grab something you want your hands nice and tough punch it go back here get the fingers you know but just go light if you've never done this before just go light the whole point of this video is just to be a little tougher Take a little more pain. It's not, it's not to do anything extreme or break anything, especially yourself. <laughs> Just go. You know, when you're around here, it's sensitive. So when you first start out, just go very light. Maybe do that light for a couple weeks. And then add a little bit more force. But it's all... Nowadays, my, most of my workouts, if not all, is just about health. It, I don't do anything extreme like I used to. Um, I know I used to do a whole bunch of high-impact stuff. I paid for it because I hurt my lower back quite a bit. When I did my boxing workout, I would duck down really hard and come up really hard, as hard as I could, just to have quick head movement. That hurt my back a lot and uh, had all the symptoms of a herniated disc, I was told. So just... Um, be careful, you know, take care of yourself before starting any exercise program. Consult your doctor. Make sure you're ready. I'm 45 years old. I don't want to do anything uh, too risky because I don't want to get hurt again. I want to take care of my health. That's what it's all about for me nowadays is health. Like the boxing videos that I put on my channel, the shadow boxing where I'm throwing like 80 strikes a minute for 40 minutes or whatever it was 80 to 90 for 40 minutes straight or more I throw most of those punches moderate sometimes hard I throw them light and moderate sometimes hard punches when I was younger I used to throw everything hard for like an hour straight or 40 minutes straight uh, you know I started to pull muscles and realize that you know you can't do that forever so I started throwing them light so instead of throwing like 50 shots a minute for an hour straight, I'm doing like uh, 70. You know, my, I'm, I'm doing more work. I'm throwing 60, 70 strikes, sometimes just like 60. Instead of 40 a minute or 50, I'll do like 60 a minute for an hour. It varies. It varies. I'm more active now in the sense of I, I'm more busy when I do my workouts. And... Uh, 
I'm, I'm more busy when I do my workouts now with low impact. Before I was high impact, still very busy, fast pace, but now I'm even at a faster pace, but instead of doing anything with a lot of power and high impact, it's all smooth for safety now. And that's a good thing to do because if you don't, you could pay for it later. And uh, so nowadays, even though I still throw my punches hard when I'm doing an hour straight, a lot of the punches are moderate. And when I first start out, the punches and the strikes, they're light punches or kicks, but most of what I do is hand work. Uh, I start out light, ease into it, and then I increase the power later when I do the shadow boxing. If I'm hitting a bag for an hour, then I can throw the punches hard for an hour straight without stopping. I've been doing this for years. If you're interested in that, you can um, click on my other videos on my YouTube channel. I got two where I'm doing the shadow boxing. You know, doing my shadow boxing routine. One of them I think I go about uh, 47 minutes straight, throwing about 60 strikes a minute. And the other one is it's over 40 minutes straight where I'm throwing about 80 to 90 strikes a minute straight. So check those out if you're interested in that. This video is supposed to be about just how to toughen your hands. So I use the rock. I use this little board here. So uh, uh, I'll be probably, maybe, making an exercise video from time to time and dropping it in since more people have seemed to be watching that than my art. But check out my art videos too. That's what this channel was originally all about. So I hope you got something from this video. Share this video, like and subscribe, and take care everybody.